Round two is here. And we have a spicy hand, we have a Sylvan Advocate and a Hedron Crawler. Uh, it's a little interesting what I'm gonna I'm gonna keep of course, but not really sure what I'm gonna do turn two. We shall see. So Hedron Crawler lets me curve into Gravity Negator thing is Sylvan Advocate attacks for an equal amount, so yeah, I'm gonna go with the advocate since now I'm not even guaranteed to play as four drop next turn. I need to draw a land, so might as well play the card that gets through for some damage. Uh, or not, but blinding drop, okay. So, hmm. I, I don't want to trade, but do I have a choice? I'm gonna go with Hedron Crawler. Can't tap anything next turn anyway. And I'm gonna take three here now. Not even attacking. Interesting. Guess he wants to block. Might as well just jam gravity in the then. Opponent also didn't play a land, so I guess it makes sense that you don't want to trade damage. Now, okay, he drew a land. Now he might attack since I could use the gravity negator anyway. Yeah, no attacks this time either. So I could just jam Mrs. Judgment here, but I think that's a little too aggressive. I think I am. Um, Go embodiment of insight since that's pretty spicy with Silver Arcan. Question is if I want to attack. My opponent is representing a lot of stuff he could do. I think I can play around. He could have Guinness Reproach, Searing Light. I think letting my opponent use his mana is just not something I want to do here. So I think. I'm going to have the option of putting huge outputs of damage very soon, so I can live, or live with not attacking for two. I can live with that. Is this a stasis now? Okay. <laughs> well, I could have attacked them, but I didn't know it was exactly that card. Uh, there was a lot of other things. Now I wish I attacked, of course, but it was a judgment call. Ooh. That's interesting. I'm just gonna cast it, see what's up. See what's happening in my opponent's hand. This may allow me to attack or may allow me to play around something. And not attacking with embodiment since, well, we shall see. Stasis Snare. So he does not want Stasis Snare, thought not, but he would rather Stasis Snare Embodiment since he didn't wait for the trigger. Guess it makes sense, the Embodiment is pretty sick with Sylvan Advocate, so it does make some sense, but let's see what's up. Wow, his hand is sick. So he has his own Embodiment, he has a Reproach, a Relief Captain, which I guess explains why he didn't want to. Uh, War caller and a world breaker. I guess I don't need to worry too much about the world breaker. So, what do I take? Um, I could take sheer drop, that card is annoying. And it's also a card you can cast. I think it's between the sheer drop and the reproach. And the approach he has to hold up mana for. Alright. But sheer drop is annoying. Something you could even do next turn. Yeah, I think I take sheer drop. Because Reproach may not be able to... I can play around Sheer uh, Reproach easier than 
anything else. By either not attacking when he has mana or, you know, attack with a creature that doesn't matter. Autumn's hand has been pretty sick this game. He immediately drew planes. That's not great. It's not great. But can you do right? So it looks like. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna take it. Cultivate a drone. So, opponent did not play relief captain. I think it's possible for my opponent to never play anything, so I'm just gonna jam a couple of things here and pass. Does four, so I could pump up four to not and uh, hmm. and the grab or the cultivator room, I guess. Yeah, it seems good. So I put on four to not and the cultivator drone. everything since now if he takes a crap load of damage all right yeah i think i had waited enough time and as if even if he kills the gravity negator it takes like 10 and then he's dead next turn all right so my opponent's deck is very good very good don't know if, what i'm gonna do about it i don't think Net Castle Spider does much of anything. I mean, he might have some flyers, but he also had a lot of other sick cards like World Breaker. I guess the only spicy target for World Breaker is uh, Tightening Coils, otherwise, he can take a land, but can't do much about uh, that since I have no counter spots. Yeah, this is gonna be tough. Hmm. <laughs> Could put in wines to maybe uh, counter a Gideon's reproach at some point. But what is bad in my deck though? There isn't that much that's bad. Um, <laughs> maybe I wanna lower my curve a little bit, take out like a path warden for wines. Hmm. I do have 20 creatures in my deck. Pretty good, pretty good. Um, yeah, I guess that's fine. I think Vines is an important piece of this deck to fight some of these cards. We shall see. Especially on the draw, I want to take away a 5 drop. have a lot of 5 drops and even a 6 drop too. Opponent should play first, I think. Uh, we'll leave Captain in your deck. You want to play? We want to play. But some people like to be on the draw all the time. They can find the most strange reasons to be on the draw. 
guess I pause. All right, it's basically the same hand, and I uh, guess I played second hollow turn one. <laughs> very, very similar hand. Very similar. Uh, yeah, might as well. Right. It's no drawback to play. It. I, mean, I guess my opponent can have wasteland, I guess, but <laughs> how likely is that? This hand. Ooh. Well, now I have a very sweet curl. I'm gonna get rewarded for my um, sunken hollow here by playing a turn free, free, free flyer. Of resurgence, okay, that's good. It's definitely good, but I do have a flyer that can punch through, hopefully. Ooh. Wow. So I could make a 4-4 four, four Skyrider Elf. If I wait a turn. But I won't do that. Um, probably, I mean... I guess it still dies to reproach and sheer drop. Hmm. I could also play heat on crawler to make sure I have a bottom next to it. Free roll that my opponent is blocked. A so, little bit of a loose play, I guess. But that's fine. Alright, I think I um, don't. I could play embodiment this turn, but I can have a little bit of surprise value next turn if, if I play it and then immediately play a land. So let's. Add uh, red, green, blue, and black. And I have a 4 4 fly. Which is better than a 3 3 fly, but I do lose 3 damage. Be hilarious if he had smite the monstrous, <laughs> and I by my play I would have lost my creature death. But yeah, I could have attacked for uh, three more, but there was, I guess, no way of knowing. So that could exile the wall right now, but I might as well just attack for. Oh, okay, this doesn't really do very much, does it? My, my creature becomes a 5-5. Five, five. Okay. So it doesn't get past the wall then. So, maybe I just... Maybe I shouldn't have played a land here. shouldn't have played a land. But since I lose landfall now. That was bad. Bad play. Hmm. Well, 
as I just play out my creatures. Guess I lost out on five damage, but now I get to de develop my board, so it's not all bad, I guess. And I do have three four blockers. So I think this is fine still. This is one land off from turning off. Ella turning on, I should say. Alright. Playing a little bit loose, I think. But that's okay. Definitely good. Don't think he can attack though, since I could double block. All right. Um. So I could tap it and attack for five and play Sky Spawner. But I, I'm kind of tempted to tap his land and his upkeep actually. So let's do that instead. Play the sky spawner. Since my opponent seems to be stuck. So, I have to block, I guess it's block. It's not terrible, I guess. 
Now I think I'm just gonna go for the flying plan. It's not gonna work if my opponent has world breaker. But oh well. I think I go upkeep tap land so he can't play world breaker. And it's also a pretty big creature, so it's not like I lose a lot of value by tapping that anyway. And that Nissa's judgment was pretty brutal. That's an ally, unfortunately. But I did get a lot of champ blockers, so that's fine. So I imagine the embodiment attacks anything else. Low normal. Alright, say seven seven. Guess I just Ooh, that almost actually block with Iris Watcher. It's a good thing it's not a red embodiment <laughs> with Trump, but that would be bad for me. That would be bad. Okay, that's not great. So if I tap a large thing, he has three blockers. Damn it. Damned, damned, damned. Means he takes a maximum of. So he blocks embodiment, cultivator, and stalking drone. He takes. Ah, not enough. Okay. I'm gonna attack and hope to. That he does not have too many more allies. So again, upkeep, tap the land. Do I have a void grafter? I don't know how much that's gonna do, but it's something. Might mess up my opponent's math. Okay, well, it's not an ally, so <laughs> it's unclear whether that's even better than just a random ally. It is definitely unclear. Okay. So, alright. 4 2, first striker, and a 6 6. So, I guess. I mean, he could have Searing Light, but. I guess I flash this in. It's hexproof. Yeah. Doesn't matter. And now let's do some blocks here. Because my opponent has three blockers, I could tap one. So he still takes a maximum of six. So I rather just kills off some stuff. So I guess um, the stalking drone is a three five. Yes, I put stalking drone and void grafter on the site master. And maybe I put my own embodiment and cultivator drone on the his embodiment. It's gonna stop a lot of his attacks. Hmm. Get owned by searing light, but I mean this guy can't attack anyway if he has doesn't do anything if he has blockers back, so yeah alright, I'm gonna go for it. I hope he doesn't have ceiling light. Right. Guess I should have given my cultivator drone hex proof then. But 
takes a lot of heat off. <laughs> of course I draw a land now that I don't even need it anymore. Alright, let's attack with Stalking Dawn and Sky Spawner. No blocks, A. Eh? Interesting. Take five then. I mean, I have shout blockers for days, so. Don't care. And I'll keep capturing land. Still have a lot of blockers. Land still can't cause world breaker though. But uh, <laughs> Angel of the, the life gain angel that gains one life for every creature. I would probably just lose to that on the spot. Hope he doesn't have it, I guess. I think he might have World Breaker in his hand. And hopefully he doesn't have anything insane, but it's some spell that he can't cast with 5 mana. So there's that. Well, it's Pulse of Murasa, which is uh, not good for me. He gains 6 life, that's the like, worst part of it. Almost. Attacking with everything. I guess I can uh, potentially kill off this thing. So I block. No. Undo. Oh, <laughs> what the fuck. Alright. Alright. I uh, almost tapped it for mana. I guess I go block, block, kill off that, and shunk, go to four. Yeah, that pose of Marasa just destroyed me. Oh, that's not bad. So, I do have a 3-4 blocker and yeah I guess I attack with sky spawn still need to attack I think and then play the negator and Go ahead, I guess. So do I tap in upkeep? I think I do. I mean, it's still the largest creature, so... Why not? And if he has world rake in his hand, I hope he doesn't draw land. <laughs> but, because if he doesn't, I could win. Uh, I do represent... I guess only 7 damage. But it's not easy to attack here. Okay, let's pop, okay. Can live with that. So I have another saddle back in his hand. Nope, not for now. Blinding draw number two, spicy, spicy. So, I think I am um, attacked with my flyer, so I have. I think what I do is attack with my flyers and then 
because this could actually give me the win even through a world break. Yeah, I mean, attacking with the Gravity Negator is aggressive, but it's not a card I want to block with anyway. And I need to kill my opponent fast. Alright. Alright. That was close. Um, that was close. But we got there. Thanks for watching.